Blend modes change colours on a selected layer depending on the colours of the layers below. The type of blend mode determines the way the colours will interact. They use formulas to enable us to achieve results that would be very difficult to create manually. I've added a green rectangle over this jellyfish, which I'll be applying a blend mode to. Now I can trial each of the blend modes with a live preview to see what effects I can create, but we'll take a look through each one in a bit more detail. First we have the normal blend mode. Layers will typically be created with the normal blend mode by default, although there are a few exceptions. This means that the layers do not interact with each other outside of opacity and mask blending. The first group has a darkening effect. For example, Darken will look at the luminosity of both layers and show whichever is darker. And Multiply will use equations to strengthen the darker areas while leaving the lighter areas less affected. This blend mode is often used to create richer shadows. Color Burn will boost saturation and contrast, while Linear Burn will darken the base layer based on brightness values. And Darker Color displays the lower value color of the two layers. The next group are Lightening Blend Modes. Just as Darken chooses the darker pixels, Lighten will choose the lighter pixels of the two layers. However, when lightening an image, Screen is often the preferred blend mode. It acts in the opposite way to multiply, so it uses equations to intensify lighter areas without clipping them. Color Dodge creates the opposite effect to Color Burn. It brightens the base color to decrease the contrast between the two layers. This can result in bright, intense colors. Add will perform a linear addition of pixel values, which typically brightens the base colors and lightens the blacks. This may be referred to as Linear Dodge in other creative software. Lighter Color will compare the two values and display the lighter color. Next we have the Contrast Blend Modes. These use a combination of darkening and lightening blend modes to create contrast. Overlay is a very popular blend mode. It will use the Screen Blend Mode on lighter areas and Multiply on darker areas. Soft Light works in a similar way, but with softer contrast. Absolute Blacks and Whites are dialed back to dark greys and off-whites. Hard light, on the other hand, creates higher contrasts. Vivid light is an extreme version of overlay or soft light. Just as overlay uses screen and multiply, vivid light uses color burn on the darker areas and color dodge on the lighter areas. Linear light creates contrast by using the add and linear burn blend modes. And pin light uses lighten and darken. Hard mix is an interesting one. It will add the red, green and blue channel values of both layers together. If the combined value exceeds maximum intensity, it will become the maximum value, which is 255 in 8-bit precision. If the value is under maximum intensity, it will become zero instead. Our next group are the inversion blend modes. Generally, they look at the difference between the base and blend layers. Difference subtracts whichever layer has the greatest brightness value from the other. An exclusion works in a similar way, but with a lower contrast. Subtract simply subtracts the blend color from the base color, and divide divides the blend color from the base color. Now we're moving on to the component blend modes. Hue uses the hue of the blend layer and the luminosity and saturation of the base layer, while saturation creates a result using the saturation of the blend layer with the hue and luminosity of the base layer. Color uses the luminosity of the base layer with the hue and saturation of the blend layer and luminosity completes the triangle of HSL. It uses the luminosity of the blend layer with the hue and saturation of the base layer. Now we're into our final collection. Average will show an average of the blend layer and base layer and in negation, color that are present in both layers are brightened. Reflect darkens the appearance and Glow brightens the appearance using the values from the blend layer. Contrast Negate inverts the blend layer's pixel value when the base layer's value is below 50% grey. This is typically used with text designs, where the text may be blended over a background with multiple contrasting tones. I'll show you on this text example. Here the text is black and has a normal blend mode. When I move it over the dark background, it's very difficult to read. If I change the blend mode to contrast negate, we can clearly see the text over the dark background and the text stays fully editable. 
I'll move back to our rectangle for our last blend mode, Erase. Erase appears to remove the base layer, effectively using the blend layer's content as a mask. It's worth noting that some of these blend modes seem very extreme, but they can be dialed down. I really like the effect of Colour Dodge on my work, but I can reduce the strength by lowering the opacity. Now I can toggle the blend layer on and off to see the effect that it's having on my artwork. I'll show you a practical example of how a blend mode can completely change a piece. Here I'm working on a vintage poster and I really want its age to look more convincing. I've already worn away some of the print with a mask and added stains and dirt with brushes in the pixel persona. Now I'm going to add a creased paper texture effect. To do this, I'll open the stock panel and search for paper. I think this one will work well. I'll click drag it out and place it on my artboard and close the stock panel. I'm going to add a shadow and highlights adjustment and set the blend mode to multiply. Remember, this creates rich shadows, so it's perfect for bringing out the creases in the paper. I'm also going to change the layers blend mode to multiply. It's getting pretty dark, so I'll counter this with a brightness and contrast adjustment for the whole poster. I'll set the brightness to around 60% and the contrast to around 10%. I love this effect. It's as if the print has rubbed off the poster and exposed the gritty paper texture underneath. So this was a look at the different blend modes offered in Affinity and how they might be used. Thanks for watching.